gamers, we are back. The Diamond World Championship. It's been eight different maps, eight different winners, and we got them right here today to play the ultimate match to find out who is the best diamond FFA gamer in the world. And this is, you know, we've ran through every single diamond in the world. These are top eight. They're playing for 1 million potatoes, which are actually worth six months subscription to my channel on Twitch. This is a preceded map. I hope I put it in correctly. If not, it is what it is. We're gonna run with it. We got eight gamers. Let's get them introduced. They're all different sips. <laughs> Have you ever seen a map like that? Have you ever seen a map like that? I can't believe this is a Nomad Mega Random map. Let's get going. This is a very small map. This is a very small map. It is a large map, large size, but as you can see, the amount of mountains that are blocking off the map and the water makes this the smallest FFA map that I have seen in my life. Over here, we got a one top lad, the HRE one trick pony. This guy plays no other sieves, just HRE. He's gonna be here on the right side. Very good spawn. He's got wood, he's got gold, gold, stone, he's got everything. He's got a boar right there, he's got a relic. Under him, we got the lion, which is going to be the Mongol player. Now, he doesn't know, but there's a trade post and four thick golds over here. All the way to the left, Yabo with blue. Chinese opting for very, very corner spawn. And unlucky or lucky for him. I guess lucky is that there's no players nearby. I'm lucky that the wood line is extremely far away. And the lion finds the water. He's the first player who has found the water. Over here, we got Singularity who, okay, he sees the water and he's close to the water. Oh no, Singularity. He has no golds nearby. That's rough. To his left, we got Valentor, the purple uh, French. Over here, we got the red Ottoman Mac user. To the more left, we got Lancer, the orange Rus. And to the top, we got Pink at Ramos, the English gamer. Now, he's got a little pond here, which actually you can't access until you chop the trees down. You got double boar, so you got enough food. And I would say for Pink, this is not a bad spawn. Um, I think pink, blue, yellow, and teal got the best spawns. Um, and even though these guys are in pretty bad spawns, technically, right? Because they're surrounded by players. If they properly boom on water, they will have insane economy. And there is a chance, for example, for purple to... I mean, he sees the water here too. Okay, so... Purple knows there's water, orange does not. So if orange makes a scout and like sends it up and not down and he doesn't see the water, he might get overwhelmed by one of the players that do have water. So yeah, uh, HRE, he's probably happy. He's probably a bit confused as well. This map has a lot of good spots for wonder, by the way, and for landmarks. So for example, Mongo can hide his landmark all the way here in the corner. You can have a, um, I meant for uh, wonders. You can get a wonder here, you can get a wonder in the corner, you can get a wonder in the top side, over here, over here, where yellow is. There's so many good wonder spots in this map. Um, another question is, if the players do go for water, I actually didn't expect that this many would be so far away <laughs> spawned and not enough on water, but if they do go on water, the question is, are they going to fight? Because the fishes are very close to one another. So imagine if all eight players went on water. They would, um, they would have some troubles. Should a small pass between blue and teal? This? So, you can't walk through here. You can only walk through, basically, this side. So, if, if Yabo, like, expands all the way here and walls off, that's gonna be a really rough spot. And, yeah, we have the middle island, which is 
It has shoreline fish actually, but I don't think you 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 can't build here. So it has a lot of shoreline fish, fifteen, but it's just a a boulder. Imagine if you could build on that. You build a landmark and I wonder. Yeah, blue spawn is really good, but um. Oh, he went to scout to the top with a villager. He's probably really happy right now with what he's seeing. Yellow knows that Teal is there. Teal has got a con that's just chilling. He's got the water. I mean, I would say, like, Yellow is in a good spot. Don't get me wrong. He's on the boar, by the way. That's disgusting. Oh, no, he's about to be on the boar. That is disgusting, dude. Dark Age boar with eight villagers and a prelate. That is... That is nasty. Oh! Oh la la! One top lad. Oh la la. Loses a villager even though you could have healed it. That's a pepe dent right there. Um, so yeah, green has no gold. Now, if I'm purple... Oh, purple is now going on water. So I don't think he saw it straight away. If I'm one of these guys... I probably dip, but where would you even go? That's a, I mean, you could go all the way to the west, but then you're you're going close to China. So I don't know if that's a good idea. Now China will not have um, China will not have water boom. So if you go on water here as like let's say French and you spam fishing boats and then you you know relocate over here, then China is not that scary, but they gotta make a choice. Now I did also warn players. I said, listen, China. I always say this. I always say this. I feel like at this point I don't even need to say it because nobody listens even. But um, Pink is out here on berries. Oh no, he killed the. Wait, Pink has seven villagers here. I guarantee you, he lost a villager to this boar. Then built up a mill, and now he's gathering berries. Kick W. But. Every time I say, guys, guys, there is a Chinese player in the lobby. Chinese Civ lay game very strong. And they're like, yeah, yeah. And then we play the FFA and nobody touches the China and China kills everyone. And I'm like... Oh god, that's disgusting. That's a 12 out of 10. He should have put it closer, like here. That's a 12 out of 10. Don't spoil the ending, yeah. I mean, the thing is, not only there's China in the lobby, but China is like disgustingly far away from everyone. That's another thing. So... Like, let, let's look at his vision. Yeah, he, bro, he knows there's no one near him. He is, he is happy as fuck right now. He's like, yo, there's nobody? Not even one? Sheesh. Like, he saw Mongol here? Wait, Mongol's running? What? He's gonna go to the big gold? Um... I mean, I don't like that. If he- okay, if he had this, sure, but this is like, the villagers are dying right now. And also, he doesn't need to go all the way there. He can just go here. Like, you're gonna need wood anyway. I, I understand he's going for the gold, but... Maybe too early? I don't know. I feel like a little bit of a too early move. Okay, he's gonna stay here near the woodlands. I mean, alright. He moves away a little bit, creates more space between HRE and himself. Which is, I guess, fine. Oh my god, he's gonna move without wheelbarrow as well. Oh god. I would have just stayed here with village and just chopped this wood, you know, you don't you don't care, right? So a little bit painful that he's moving that much without any upgrades for movement, but it is what it is. HRE, he's got his chapel. He's actually chopping wood. Oh, he's going on water. Oh, one top lad, okay. He is not going for castle rush. Like we literally always see and Mali and gold. Oh, la, la. 
We always see Castle Rush, but he's not going for Castle. He's, he's attacking on water. And I feel like this is going to make a lot of players angry with him. Like, if he attacks Mongo over here... And by the way, Mongo needs to age up, like, immediately. Oh, he also had no gold. I mean, there's gold here. Uh, Mongo has no... Oh, or, sorry, he has Ubu, never mind. He can upgrade the, uh, what's it called, to the dock. And now Yellow is attacking Malian, and Malian is also getting attacked on the land by Ottoman, and oh la la. This is not looking good for our brother Green over here. He is getting dented from two sides. And the question is, where do you even run? Yeah, yeah I would drag it, uh, drag him into purple. <laughs> Wait, why is purple docking? Those are not attack ships, bro. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is, I mean, this is just painful, man. This is, this, I mean, that's Nomad. Listen, that's Nomad. Silver tree for teal. Okay, he might try trading. But uh, that is no man. Sometimes you get a good spawn, sometimes you get spawned on. And right now. Oh, and yellow attacking purple and green. Oof. And luckily, you know what the funny thing is? The Mongol just moved slightly to the left. He's like, yeah, I can see you making ships, I'll just move away. And, uh, pretty, pretty rough start right now. Uh, Yabo, the Chinese gamer on the other side, he's got a barbecue and he's gonna go for multiple TCs. The Mongol trade, <coughs> he's gonna trade from here to here. Uh, alright. Where's the second trade? Second trade is over here, which is pretty far. Oh my god, yellow is torturing green. You know what happened in the lobby, by the way? So, the way we pick the sieves is um, I asked, do you guys want to play a random or not? You know, and um, some people said, I, uh, you know, I can only play this many sieves or this many sieves. So what I did is um, I asked, okay, how many sieves can you play? How many sieves can you play? And one top lad says he's a one trick pony. He only plays HRE. He doesn't play any other sieve. And some players in the lobby were molding that he gets to get HRE and, and then for everyone else we basically rolled and if they landed on a sieve they don't play we would re-roll but everyone is playing a sieve they're, they're well you know aware and you know familiar with. So some people were balding that he is playing HRE. So I wonder if one top lad is attacking the players that were balding about it. I actually can't remember who was it, so I'm not gonna say it was green. I don't know who it was, but it'd be kind of funny for him to be like, makes two galleys and ruins the ruins their fishing because of it. All right, we see trade. That's a sad trade. That is a 17 gold trade. Green, no. Red, I think. You guys think it was red? And the funny thing is, red is attacking yellow all the way to the bottom side, and now red is trying to make a town center. But Malian is already here, and Malian looks like. He's moving to the corner, which, to be honest, might be the best thing he can do. I don't know what where else you go. He's lost all his fishing. And, like, you can't really go to the west, because you gotta go through these people. He couldn't make transfer ships because there were galleys. He can't go to the bottom. So I feel like this is the best spot for him to be in. And Red is trying to make a TC there, and he's gonna say, Uh-uh, brother, not on my watch, you son of a gun. And now Red is attacking Yellow. Beating his ass and that's gonna be a minus five villagers, but red did attack him first Because red killed his uh, pit HRE is uh, Not again. He's not aging up. He's just making units Where cathedral? That's what I want to know. Is this cathedral time? Yeah, okay Mongols really got a sad trade going, by the way. Sometimes you think, uh, we haven't checked these guys on the top, sometimes you think like, oh, this trade is gonna be good, because it seems like a lot, but then on, on these big maps, that's a really, really bad trade. China, two TCs, castle coming in, red, uh, red came in from, I guess he just walked over here, 
and now green and red are fighting on the water purples farming teal is chilling orange is chilling on the top side we got high trade house in an okay position i would say we got english with three town centers just pumping out units right now and uh yabo so chane's castle and orange's castle too so rus went one tc castle with some fishing but that's not a lot of fishing so i kind of wonder what his um i kind of wonder what his plan is right now and he went with golden gate by the way which means he can buy stone in the late game malian's got an archer range He's gonna bring over here to defend uh three mechters jesus christ not one not two i got three of them and now mac user is gonna be a little punk and he's gonna upgrade this tower probably and then yeah just annoy malin as much as possible mongol is aging up with step readout this trade like i said pretty sad but it is what it is Yabu is stonewalling. Oh, why are you stonewalling there? He's stonewalling really close to his base. I know it's like scary because he probably just wants to survive and not die. But he could have probably stonewalled like here or something. You know, like just across and get a lot of the, the base for free. But I don't know, he's playing it safe. It is what it is. That scout does survive a little bit. Barely. The healing is pretty good skill to have. And, uh... Not much action yet, I would say. Uh, Rus is spamming men at arms against English. And English is close to aging up. He has plus one armor. Okay, this is actually a problem. Et Ramos has played so greedy. He has zero units. Zero. Not one unit. And he's still not making one unit. He's just... He's got a white tower like here or something. Check this. I mean that is got a white tower here. Oh, he's trying to white tower here. Oh brother, that is so greedy. And he's playing against Rus who went. This is what I was talking about. If one person goes fishing and then you can kind of do something with that. Uh, like, do you, you know, a timing or something where you try to end your opponents. But Rus now with plus two range attack. The men at arms are pouring in from every side, and that's gonna be a that's gonna be a rough one. Malian with another TC struggling right now. Singularity actually wanted to get Malians. The White Tower is coming up, but I mean he's losing a lot of villagers. And even when he gets the White Tower, like the crossbows that come out are gonna be taking damage, and he's taking a shit ton of damage. The, oh, I don't know about this, the Ottoman is diving in onto a town center. The healer Imam gets targeted, one Imam goes down. Spearmen are going down and I don't know if this is really good for uh, for Red. It looks like he's gonna be losing everything there. And once he loses everything, then I guess he loses the position here too. I mean also Green is losing workers, don't get me wrong. This is not like good for Green. Ottoman's got oh Autochad got three TC and he's aging up. Okay, I like what he's doing. That's some good macro. He's slow down uh, green a shit ton and he's got three TCs behind it. And now orange is just going back. Why? Huh? Bro, you got 24 men around, so you can just kill him. Pink. There's no way Pink defends this. Like, there's no 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 way. That pink can defend that. That is so many units there. Okay, he's maybe just gathering his units a little bit. He's got so many men at arms. He's got are trying to get some relics. By the way, I don't I don't see a lot of relics. Um HRE has two. I see one here. Two on the top, that's three. One on the Mongol side, that's four. There's like six, seven relics at best. And oh la la, oh la la, and Et Ramos, he had a good spawn. 
but he just went a little too greedy. A little too greedy, brother. I mean, you do want to boom in an FFA, but like, if I'm blue, I'm booming. I'm probably going to triple TC and just saying, fuck it, let's go. But if you're next to someone, I mean, you can, but it's, uh, it's risky business. Very risky business. And he's even making rams to dent them in further. Purple, by the way, has a shit ton of fishing. No, they're not attacking each other on water. He's got guild hole and stone. Teal is also fishing. So three players are fishing right now. One landmark goes down. Red is defeated over here. Green maybe should like wall this bish right in. Relics are being picked up. And with more ramps coming, I mean, I don't see how pink survives. It is what it is, brother. Oh, lord. Dude, does he have the... Oh. Dude, is he gonna try landmark time? He's got a lot of food. He's got a lot of gold. He's got both fishing upgrades. And he is gonna go for China. Now, this is not... This is not Stonewall, so he can go here. And China is age 4, by the way. So, that is a bit... That is a bit scary. To go attack China, that's age 4. And Yabo made 0 units, by the way. He is age 4 China with 2 TCs. With, okay, he's got 3 horsemen, my bad. And 2 scouts. More TCs going down. And now... <clears throat> no, no, no! The White Tower is under attack. Keep on the Malian base. Oh, la, la. Oh, la, la. You know what Malian needs? You know what Malian needs? He needs to age up. No, you don't need to do that, brother. You need to age up immediately. No, 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 you don't need that. You need to age up. You need to age up immediately. Or you're going to be in a little trouble. Yeah. He needs to age up with like every worker, by the way, that he has. Otherwise, he is going to be fully eliminated. This is the last landmark he's got. Bro. Does he not realize? Drop the food! Drop the food, man! Egypt! What are you doing, Egypt? Egypt! Yeah, Egypt, man! You just make it anywhere! Oh, that's wild. French has no gold, I just realized. He, he's got no gold, no juice. And uh, yeah, Malian goes out, but at least he walled off all the resources. Kick W. Uh, on the water, everyone's just fishing, everyone's chilling. Pink is out as well, by the way. He actually tapped out first, or not tapped out. He got tapped out. Let's check. Lancer over here with 64 workers. Not a lot of workers. He actually needs to make TCs or something and maybe boom a little bit. He's going to make Spaskaya in the corner. Okay, I see what he's cooking there. Um, Auto Chad, he is age 3. He's got a decent amount of units. He could age up soonish. No, he, well, he could, but he can't because he doesn't have resources, but he could. 
Um, HRE? I mean, one top lad. I mean, I don't know. He's two relics, okay. But he is making like archers and spearmen and a little bit of everything. And I don't know if that's the unit comp you necessarily want to be with at this point. It's a little late for that. The lion has reached Imperial, which is teal. He did get improved burn. So he is going to do the landmark sniping. Now, Yabo, the Chinese, once again... Huh? Huh? Yabo is going pure elite lancers. And Mongol has pure horsemen. Now, I don't think I got to tell you how that one's going to go. But uh, it ain't going to go well. And that's going to finish somehow. Somehow, some way, that's going to finish. Rus aged up. He is now Imperial. French aged up. He is now Imperial and he's beating the workers. Okay, well, Yabu is now very aware of that. Oh, God, dude. Wait, does he... S Wait, he sees him, doesn't he? Oh, God. Oh, God, they're upgraded with the HP upgrade, too. Oh, la, 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 la. Oh, la, la. No, you can't fight that, man. But he you he used the attack speed arrow, which is for ranged units. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't think that's gonna work, brother. I think uh, you might be in a little bit of trouble. I think you might be in a little bit of trouble. Now we got some arrow slits happening. We got, oh, Red is about to beat French's ass. Are these transport ships? There's a transport ship. He's gonna bail to his red palace, but I'm not sure if that's the way you want to necessarily go. And mass horsemen? I mean, mass horsemen is a strat I used recently in an FFA to snipe landmarks, but... Uh, you know, you gotta have units to also defend yourself. And now he is evacuating fully. And now he's like, you know what? Maybe I should have stayed over here. Maybe that would have been a bit better. Yellow is attacking red, and red is killing purple, and purple is running away. Oh, no, no. Where is transport ships? Oh, he does. Oh, he has so many resources. Though. Holy shit! Bro, make more transport ships. And yellow is going. Sea Gate Castle is coming in hot, but yellow is right here. And I think red is gonna... Well, yellow has siege, actually. Um, is yellow gonna win this fight? Okay, well, not not if that happens, right? Not if you get mango LD, even though you got four sprinkles. The uh, Seagate Castle is about to die, actually, even though it just finished. Three rams are blasting its cheeks right now. And it's gonna go down. Uh, it goes down. But he loses his whole army and and oh no oh no he is stuck oh stuck red blue he is super stuck right now and yellow is still castle by the way one top dent is still in castle 30 minutes into a free-for-all. That is not a good look. And Mongol comes back where he started. To his home base. He's making barracks. He should. He should make some spearmen as well. What's his resource count? He's got so many resources. He just had no production. He had no defense, you know? He's had nothing. And French is getting destroyed by one ram. Great Wall Gatehouse coming in here. And uh, I guess because Blue is attacking on the right, he's just going to let French there. But I feel like the moment China decides to kill him, he's, he's dead. If I'm in the lobby, I say, guys, 
Look at the score, which is, by the way, allowed to be like, yo, Blue has 11,000 score and he's playing China. Maybe we should kill him. If someone has a massive advantage, you can team up against him. Which is why usually in FFAs, China should get focus, right? No. Yeah. We got veteran spearmen. Okay, so he doesn't have elite, but at least they're veteran. And he's got a decent amount of them, but not enough, clearly, because he is getting overwhelmed. And I think once again... Oh, well, where are you going? Where are you going? Step read out. Okay, he's gonna chop wood here. Yellow catches him, and oh no, that is not the place you want to run to, brother. He is running into the red army, and uh, that is not a good look. Over here, we got more knights coming in, or lancers, whatever they are. They're gonna kill the... Oh, they're not gonna kill a dog. This is the last dog he has. So if he kills this, he has no fishing. And he's just getting farmed right now. His production's getting farmed. His landmarks. The TC is alive somehow. His uh, other landmark, Silver Tree, is right here. Elsbeck Palace coming in for yellow. Yellow's just making like a line to, or keeps all the way to docks. And, uh, I mean, in theory, if he actually makes enough barracks, he can defend against knights, but uh, in practice, it's a little bit harder to do. Yellow, or sorry, not yellow, orange has a lot of the map right now. He's got two relics. He's got a lot of the map. He has a market right here, by the way, which he could trade with. That's also a thing. And, um... Yeah. Seems like we'll have red, yellow, blue, and orange as the top four, as it's looking right now. But we've seen crazier things, you know? Maybe, maybe purple comes back. Purple is making a lot of farms. I don't know. You got fishing. Why are you making more farms? What? Wait, why is he actually making farms? You got you got 15,000 food, brother. You should probably make some uh, production building so you can defend yourself. Is he just praying that he doesn't get attacked from here? I guess so. On this side, we see Mac user and one top lad fighting one another. It's not looking good for... Okay, well, HRE is also fighting blue, but... Um... Oh. Oh. I was gonna say, it's not looking good for yellow, but he has a lot of army chasing blue, and he's got keeps. And Elsbach, I mean... It's gonna complete. So this is gonna take way less damage. 33% less damage, actually. Orange is gonna chop this wood. He's making a lot of stables. No trade yet from Orange, even though he, he definitely could. Atri has made it to age 4. And now officially we got every player in age 4. That's alive. Mongol landmark, silver tree goes down. That's a lot of knights. Lancers, whatever. By the way, I want to say Yabo, um, he had a really good spawn, right? And all that shit. Uh, Yabo spawned on the side where there's not a lot of resources. So he did enjoy being alone. But And if you look at his resources, you might be like, yo, that's really good. You know, that's a lot of resources kind of thing. But it's not really, because he's not really gathering gold. This is his last goal. And after that, he's going to have to go for this. So if I'm Yabo, I attack this with everything. And oh, you can see he wanted to get gold here. And if you are um, Teal, if you manage to defend for a little bit with some Bombard Towers and just chilling, uh, this becomes pretty bad for, for Yabo. Especially because, not soon, but at a point, French will attack him. 
Because where is what is French gonna attack? Obviously, he's gonna attack here, right? And that kind of becomes a little bit of a, a a problem. Another thing is, Orange can attack Red, or he he can attack Blue. Now, if he wants to win the game, he should attack Blue because he is China. Because like another thing to remember is they don't see the whole map, so they might think that China has the whole like insane amounts of resources, right? 51 spearmen against like 80 lancers. You should go back to the bomber tower for sure. For sure, should go back to the bomber tower. And Lion, he has no wood. You need to cancel this. Cancel one and produce spearmen. He's probably panicking. He's probably steering right now. The lancers are trading a lot worse, but he's still got 60 of them remaining. And the spearmen are not. He, dude, he should have fought right here. These towers would have helped so much with the damage. But, yeah, he's made a market, but he just can't get enough units out. He just bought some wood, but he just can't make enough units to, to defend himself, it seems. And these spearmen... Oh, they do have, actually, a, a elite army tactics, okay. Can he hold? Oh, palace guards are coming. His landmarks are all... Oh no, the white stupa is alive, okay. He's repairing it. It's fully repaired, so even if he gets eliminated now... And again, these are very expensive lancers that, that uh, Blue is losing, that he's not gonna be remaking, I can tell you that. You should go, like, maybe put the dock here or something. Why is that gate so weird? Wait, that gate looks weird. Is that what a Rus gate looks like? This is Chinese gate. I never actually paid attention to this, but the Rus gate is just like dented. It's like bald. Like there's nothing on top of it. Huh? And red attacks yellow, fights yellow, and then says, I'm gonna attack orange now. Maybe not the best idea. Maybe should not, maybe shouldn't do that. Also, orange has uh, a lot of army, by the way, that would dent in this army because Strelzi are pretty good and he has archers. And he's got Springles, so probably should not be attacking him unless he wants to be in a lot of trouble. Oh no, a yellow season. Oof. Oh, yellow season the whole time. Kek W. If yellow just moves his arm and kills this, that's it. That's it for Teal. Oh, he ran away with step readout. He's doing it. Okay, he's gonna build a little pagoda over here. Um, so right now we got a little bit of a, oh, sorry about that. Only archers remaining, a couple of crossbows, oof, the great Chad Bard. Big shot right here. Big shot. Medium shot. That thing is going down. Now. Ottoman resources, 46 on gold. I mean, that's nice, but that's not... Ooh. No, that's gonna be a lot of dead villagers. 46 on gold. I mean, look at his resources. He's kind of poor. Orange. Orange got a lot more, and I feel like Rus at this point can produce a lot more uh, than Ottoman. Because... Ottoman's base is just way bigger. He's got a market right here. French in the corner is making knights. I would have probably said he should have made horsemen. Because uh, he can make infinite amount of horsemen almost. And now Trebs, yo, if he can get landmark sniped actually. That's his last landmark. So Yabo is now going for purple 
and he's still trying to hunt Teal. Streltzer pumping through the through the forest. Yellow for some reason. Uh, like I said, he went from fighting with red to them just like completely, completely stopping. Four trebs. Five trebs. That is a serious amount of trebs. And if he trebs that red palace, he's gonna be in a lot of trouble. Dude, I would just go with these ships and kill everyone's fishing. As a, like a little fun to you. Okay. Yellow is pushing red. He's gonna yoink his relic. I mean, I like that. Why not? Kills all the mechters. Two great bombards, but there are sprinkles already. Uh, oh, he's target firing the uh, sprinkles. Boop. One goes down. Another one. Boop. Goes down. And Ottoman's holding pretty well, but this is where the butt comes in. What just happened? What just happened? He just ran out of gold. He just ran out of gold. Oh no. Oh no, one night is coming. Oh no. The lion, wake up! Wake up, Donore! Oh no, are those his last workers? I think they might be. Run! You can do it! Run, 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 run! Yo, he made it! He leaves too as a bait and he will survive to, to live another day. Now, if I'm Mongol, bro, you just go all the way here and you just stay there. Just go there. Just go in the corner. Can't hurt you there. Step readout got found, by the way. Oh god, no, red. Red. Oh la la. Oh la la. And Mac user taps out. I don't. I don't know why he chose to suddenly fight with Orange. Like, Orange was not attacking at all, he was just standing there. And he's like, you know what, I'm gonna stop attacking Yellow and I'll go attack Orange. And then he just died. If he defended his golds here, I mean, there's not much here, right? But... There's a gold here to fight over with Yellow, there's more golds in the back. But even if he killed Orange, what does he get? I mean, okay, he gets a trade post, but that's about it. It is what it is. He gets bopped. Yabo over here chilling. He forgot about Trebs, I think. Huh? Oh, bro, he is cooking right now. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. He is. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. Oh, no. F's in the chat. That was the last villager. And Yabu is still trying to find his landmark, but he ain't gonna find it. He ain't gonna find it. Orange now getting a little spicy with blue over here. Okay. And once again, by the way, a blue or purple has 100 cavalry almost. If he dents through these walls, he's not going to be able to landmark snipe because there's a great wall gatehouse. But he could cause some serious damage. Blue is now running through two keeps and an Elsbeck palace, as you do. And he is going north. He is traveling. Earlier he tried to attack yellow here, but there was nothing. Now he's going north. Uh, he also got 24,000 gold. Actually, more. Uh, 28,000 gold over here. 
that he should uh, try to vacuum up real quick. What is Yavo doing? Let me check his vision. He wa he really wants that sacred site. Oh yeah, he's got the trade too. That's a good point. I forgot about that. Yeah, he really wanted to kill that. Um, that one uh, scholar there. So he traveled through three keeps to kill it. All right. It is what it is. Orange is running around through uh, Otto Chad's base. Still no trade. Dude, Orange got Orange got trade here, trade here, and trade in Ultiman's base, which now Yellow can trade to right away. A lot. He found a way into Yellow's base. Where's he going? He's gonna go all the way around. And uh, he's making rams. Purple is making rams. And blue is going to slowly try to work on purple. But purple is coming back for that booty. And you know what? He's probably not going to kill blue. But I think he might do quite a bit of damage. Wait, what? Oh, purple repair your landmark! Don't go out like that! Oh no, man, don't... <sighs> One guy died because he didn't know he needs landmarks to survive. The other guy died... For the same reason, actually. Yo, that army is so thick to take with Wall of Law, by the way. Dude, look at that. He can take 100 units with one Wall of Law. Dude, he, <laughs> he ran all the way from right to this side just to fucking die. To Treb sniping his last landmark. He's like, huh? What just happened to me? Huh? Oh. I guess I'm out. Wait, is he trying to attack something here? What is he? He's running around. And now we got three remaining. And I gotta check the uh, the resource count. Yabo, nowhere close to wonder. One top land, nowhere close to wonder. Lancer? Oh. Uh oh. He has 28 tickets. He can buy Wonder. Easily. Easily. And I'm not sure if two of them can stop it. I mean, he is stonewalling. The whole side, so he is slowly prepping. He is cooking, if you will. He's making a lot of siege. Is he gonna attack? No way, right? Wait, what? Wait, does he not know that? The... No, he knows. Wait, what? How are you gonna attack that with like? Okay, he's just going with rams. I was like, is he gonna try to kill T Blue with like ten siege units? That ain't gonna work. By the way, Teal is still alive, okay? But oh la la! Oh my God, he's letting him burn. Yo, he's burning. Oh, oh out of bounds. Is that a legal move right there? We're gonna have to check that one. They might be both saying we need to kill China. Because yellow is attacking him, and I think orange is about to attack him as well. Because... Okay, what about this? Uh, only six land shits, so not that many, but this is a big army from yellow. 
Five mangoes is quite a lot, although blue has 23 hand cannoneers, and those are Chinese hand cannoneers. Those are juicy as fuck. But a orange ain't moving. He doesn't give a fudge. Yeah, yellow is building production towards blue, which which leads me to believe... I mean, maybe he's attacking Seoul, I don't know. But... Oh, that's gonna be a destruction. Yellow's units are kind of low HP, and I mean, he's about to lose all the siege units, and that's gonna be a thick, fat, throbbing loss right there. Yabo's got a lot of resources. The only thing he needed was gold, and he got like crap ton of gold here. So. It's looking pretty bad for uh, orange and yellow. The only way. The only way I can see this going well for one of the other guys is uh, if Orange makes a wonder, which he can. Like again, he can just buy into it, but he's not making it. Okay, there's some knights. Oh my god, he's fighting with villagers into three knights, but he's gonna lose every villager. There was there was like 45 villagers here. Let's check in a little bit how many he's got left. I mean, he's getting attacked from two sides, and maybe he's steering. You know, maybe he's like, oh shit, kind of thing. He's got the wall of law here. He's got the trade going. 24 remaining. He's lost 20 villagers to these three knights. He's pushing Atri back. But Atri ain't even pushing. Atri's on 100 supply. He's making 25 rams. Knights are in blue's base. Oh god. Bro, he's lost 40 villagers there. And now he's on 88 workers. He's trying to destroy this Great Wall Gatehouse at the same time. Blue is pushing into yellow quite hard. But can he kill him? The answer is no. I don't think blue can kill him. I think yellow's got enough to defend himself. And Yabo is taking damage everywhere he can. He's trying his best. This is open now, by the way. This is not even a wall. The knights are coming in hot. 80 villagers. He's got a big bank, but... How long is that going to last? Wall of law coming in. Not even a full wall of law. He's going to get that juicy army. 44 horsemen and 22 royal chads. That's a big army. That's like the uh, Lord of, is it Lord of the Rings? The Riders of... What is it called? Riders of Rohan? Right there. Damn, I can't remember... I can't believe I remember the name. And here we go. Great Wall Gatehouse is getting targeted right now. And I'm gonna tell you guys, I can't see the chat, I don't know what's happening, but I guarantee you, they said, we should kill China. And, uh, whoever said that, the other guy was like, yes, I agree with that. I agree with that fully. Yabo landmark. Okay, now yellow sees. Look, yellow moves immediately. So yellow just sees. Enemy destroyed Yabo's landmark. So now yellow is like, okay, it's my turn to start start pumping his cheeks from this side. Now orange is gonna see this. The thing is, orange can just literally go here. Yeah, just move back. What is he gonna do? Yeah, what is he gonna do? Suck on these nuts. And now yellow goes in. They're they're banging him from two different sides. The difference is, for HRE, I feel like, in a way, you gotta do this. You gotta try to eliminate them, but as Orange, he's probably smacking his lips, because he can actually go Wonder now. Look at his research, he can 100% go Wonder now. The only reason he is not, is he probably wants to kill China, and then make a Wonder, and then... Atri is screwed one on one. Like there's nothing Atri can do one on one in that long distance, unless if he had like ten relics, maybe. It's 
strokes are pumping. He's out of there. He can't get in. He's literally step stuck. And Strelzi are farming. Strelzi on Storm Balls, by the way, they get the static ability. The 30% uh, attack speed. And they get more range on the walls. So they are literally fucking blasting from there. Yellow pushing in from this side. Dude, this tower is fucking disgusting. Oh god. Look at this tower. He made it on a hill and then he stonewalled it. Stonewall gate Great Wall Gatehouse is getting repaired. <laughs> He's sending all his rents for that one tower. My headset is running out of battery, and as it's running out of battery, I am gonna pick up the uh the charger right here. I'm gonna plug it in. Yellow's pushing in. The cable is getting straightened out. And it's gonna... Oh! And we're safe once again. That was close. Close push, but we made it. Mm-hmm. Blue is fighting on two sides, by the way. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Fighting on two different sides. Oh, by the way, I'm gonna play. Uh, I'm gonna play Stronghold. Uh, what's it called? Definitive Edition on. When is it coming out? Was it seventh? Seventh of November. I'm live streaming that bish when it goes live. Where are the sacred sites, by the way? One is here. One is here. Am I blind? I mean, probably, but... Huh? <gasps> oh, that was one of the reasons why I chose this map, I forgot. It has two sacred sites. Dude, I completely forgot about that. It has two sacred sites only, which I, so I've told you guys this, I've hosted like an hour worth of lobbies to find these unique seats. And I have never played on a uh, Nomad Mega Random with two sacred sites. And in, in like hundreds and hundreds of Mega Randoms, I have never seen a two sacred site map. And this is one of those. Yellow is controlling two sacred sites. He has stonewalled on top. He has stonewalled over here. I hope he doesn't open this up because that's going to be unfortunate. He doesn't even need to build anything here, man. Just don't bother. Like, this is going to be so hard to break through. Well, probably should build some. But he has no stone. That's the problem. He's got no stone. He's tapped out. And he is denting in Blue's production. Blue and Orange are still fighting on this side. And let me tell you, Sacred Sites, when was it captured? 102, let's say. Two out of two right there. Dude, I completely forgot. I completely, completely forgot that there's only two Sacred Sites. And he is banging these production buildings. And these are these are big pickoffs, by the way. Big, big pickoffs. And blue and orange are still fighting. They're still denting each other. The question is, do they not see it? There is a chance they're like oblivious that this is happening. The Rams are mowing everything down. And by the way, yellow could... Uh, oh no, he couldn't. Oh no, he could trade with Ottoman, by the way, if he wanted to. Okay, blue and orange are like, yo, 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 chill. We gotta kill yellow. Oh, that's so many production buildings. <laughs> if he had all these production buildings, I think this would be an easy takeover, because he is like literally in front of it.
orange is moving to the top. Now, this isn't quite like the wonder, right? If you have the wonder, the enemy has to go through all your production, all your fucking defenses, all your units. But sacred sites, especially because they're far away, like orange can attack one and blue can attack the other. Now, the question is blue has been defending against two, although he was dying, to be fair. Now, can yellow defend the sacred sites for seven? minutes and look at that he took the tip from uh blue earlier let's make some towers here can he defend it he's gonna overchop he's gotta stop making rams as well he needs like um i honestly think just pure men at arm and maybe like archers or something but i don't think he has Archer range is just like few only. Oh, he's eight. eight. Oh, nine barracks. Oh, he needs more than that. Yeah, that's a big mistake. He needs way more uh, barracks and archer ranges. He is selling stuff. He doesn't have incendiary arrows either, which is going to be a little bit of a problem. And if these were like bombard towers and stuff, this would be such a sick defense. But he's got a very budget defense happening. Very, very budget defense. And he is gonna overchop this. If this is already not overchopped, which might be the case. Bombers are pumping at the top. On the bottom, Chan is about to push in. They're gonna push in at the same time, by the way. He's got, okay, he's got a good amount of, uh, he's deleted villagers. He's got 129 units, which is quite a bit. So in theory, he can kill both of them. He actually has a really good amount of units at the bottom, but this is 36 hand cannoneers for China. And very few towers are upgraded here, like three, four towers are upgraded. So the hand cannoneers are going to start mowing down pretty hardcore on the top side. He should be able to like completely overwhelm this on the top side. This is like 10 stealthy and, and spearmen and that's it and some siege which is whatever. The bottom side is what's worrying and I think he might lose on the bottom side. He's steering, he's building more towers but like blue doesn't even need to kill any towers. He can just go straight to the sacred side. He needs to reinforce. Oh. Stop the rams man, stop making rams. I don't know if he's like making rams accidentally or he's like trying to put them on the oh, la, la. or he's trying to put them on like the sacred sides but I have a feeling it's remaining from earlier because they're not on the sacred sides he should engage this immediately and he's not pop cap you gotta make more stuff brother he's probably steering let's check his vision He's probably steering everywhere. He just needs to jump on top of the mangoes. If he doesn't, oof, if he doesn't stack his units, uh, he's gonna be like more than fine on the top side. Over here, the lancers are coming in hot, and he is not producing at all, brother. No, not like that. He's not producing any units. Any units? Produce, produce. Oh la la, he goes with knights and hand cannoneers. And I don't think that's it. On the top side, he got. I don't know how he lost that. I think the mangroves must have uh, uninstalled his units. On the bottom, he's getting pushed in and uh, it's looking pretty rough. Listen, he crumbled under the pressure. He had two minutes to go. More men at arms are coming. Oh, there's the men at arms. Oh no! Oh brother, he A moved on a town center. Okay, okay, he fixed it. Dude, I was like, is he gonna attack town center as he's getting butchered over here? On the bottom side, blue is getting that decap for sure. I mean. He literally was just look 47 men arms. He just wasn't producing. This top side is not not even an issue. Look how easy he cleaned that up. 
he should have just rallied everything to the bottom side and uh, or to I said top side or everything to the bottom side and he would have been more than fine and now seven nest of these nuts are coming blue is tapped out of resources by the way oh my god and look at orange that's disgusting orange has everything if I'm orange right now bro just go wonder I don't know why 48 tickets he can spend 5k gold to get seven and a half thousand stone right is that the math yeah he probably just forgot but it's funny because he built golden gate that's the only reason he built golden gate in epic phase is he gonna do it Elsbeck? if Elsbeck goes down oh they're just blasting him out. and yabo is getting played like a like a potato Yabo is killing yellow, but he doesn't know. He literally doesn't know that the moment yellow dies, or maybe even before yellow dies, there's gonna be a wonder drop. Yellow or oh, orange got landmark here. He's got landmark here, here, here. So basically, it's the sky. But Sky is pretty safe. Elsback is cooking. Elsback's on fire, literally. Boom. And it will be going down. Just like that. And now all the buildings lose the buff to receive 33% more damage, which makes it. Or less damage, sorry. Which makes it a lot easier for. Landmark sniping, it, it makes it a lot easier for the buildings to go down. There is a relic in this keep, but there's bombards attacking. Yo, he just repaired that. Did you see that? He just repaired it. We've seen this one recently. Is he not gonna... Okay, he's walling. Okay, I was like, is he really not gonna make a wonder? Huh? That's a lot of units. And yellow is holding on, but let's check his resources. They are denting him in quite a bit. Yeah, he took sacred sites and now they're just beating his ass. I mean, one, one thing that, that I always mention, like when I cast these games, in FFAs, it's really hard to know where players are at um, sometimes. So obviously now they see the score, because they can see the score in game. So if you look, um, Orange didn't know how far does yellow base go. So when yellow captures Sacred Side here, Yellow's base could have been from here all the way like this. Like, he doesn't know that there's mountains. He doesn't know how many resources yellow has gathered. You know, it's the same thing for orange. Like, um... Or same thing for blue, same thing for yellow, same thing for orange. It's like, you don't know where the opponents were at. You don't know who they fought. You don't know how many resources they've collected. So, sometimes it's like, it's hard to know who to attack. And I know this from, like, obviously playing in a lot of them, right? Um... And score sometimes is a bit weird, where it values some things way more than others. Like, someone might not have a lot of score because they are 180 villagers. You know? Um, but yeah. I have timed out the player in the chat. Guys, I've said this so many times. If you are playing, don't say, oh, I should have done this or should have done that. You're spoiling the game for people. Don't type anything. Don't type. Don't type. Until we're out of the game. Thank you. Even though 
he's about to get eliminated. You're still, like, potentially spoiling stuff, you know? Just saying. The landmarks are on fire. Permaban? I just timed him out. There's one landmark remaining. And Orange is licking his lips right now. He's licking his lips. That's what I said. And Yab was like, bruh. Bruh. What the fuck? Lancer's trying to find him. Oh, he's like, huh? Oh, he's trying to survive, man. He doesn't want to tap out, even though he's got nothing. He's still trying. Resources minus. Eh, he's got some, but he's pretty, pretty, you know, bad position. Now, Yabo's best move right here. The best move Yabo can do. Is immediately take Sacred Sites. That's what I would do. You cannot get eliminated. You cannot get landmark sniped here. You cannot get eliminated. Like, you got too many landmarks as China. You got too much time to respawn. All you would need to do is take the Sacred Sites immediately. And you actually win the game. And look at that. Lancer's taking a Sacred Site. Because he's probably... He wants to delay the Sacred Site capping. That's all you gotta do is Yabo. And this is a one-on-one, -on -one, remember. Yabo is not breaking this wonder, right? He's just not. But if he takes the Sacred Sites, Lancer's not breaking them either. Like, he's just... It's just not happening. Now, is he gonna realize this? The units are moving on this side. He's not producing. I'm trying to see if there's villagers moving to build. He just destroyed his buildings. Huh? Huh? I guess he didn't want to unkeybind the buildings. So he just destroyed them. <laughs> and I gotta say, I don't think Yabo is going for sacred sites because I don't see any villagers going. And uh, there's nothing moving out. There's no s monks moving out. And that would have been a five head play. Because you know what you do then? Capture the sacred sites and you just wall here. Look at that. That's not a big wall at all. And you just defend here and the game is over. He is screwed. He's gonna try. But... He's, he, like, he's got so much land to cover. He's also got 140 uh, economy, which he needs to, like, immediately, you know... He needs to sacrifice and, and kill a lot of his shit. So should Orange probably kill this. He chopped through on this side, but that actually that chop through actually doesn't lead anywhere. It just leads to another wall. And uh, he's making fire lancers now. Even if he snipes three landmarks, he cannot snipe the last one, which is the biggest problem. Sacred side wonder tracker, twelve and a half minutes. And the sacred side win is down the drain. He didn't happen. Maybe if China makes like a full siege army and pushes from here, just full siege army and just run through. Maybe. But two almost two thousand gold in taxes here. Sheesh. Oh he supervised this. Wait, when did he supervise it? Bro, what are you huh?
Seven minutes. Why is he walling this? Maybe he's walling so the enemy can take it, but I don't think that matters too much. That'd be kind of funny if he's just walling it to prevent the enemy from taking it. Seven minutes. There is a chance that he doesn't see the no, but he sees the wonder. I think because he moved when he moved back when the wonder was being made. So I think he saw it. Wonder tracker six minutes. At this point, he has made no progress here. He would need to beeline all the way to the wonder in order to take it down. Like. If you're making this kind of move, like a frontal push, you need like strong units. He needs like pure Lancer or, or Palace Guard or something. Because Fire Lancers are only good if you're running by or, you know, you're burning buildings or something. Other than that, I mean, they don't... Like, look, the Knights are gonna fucking dent them in. And this is looking like a pure... destruction it is what it is it is what it is boys guys i want to remind people not to be you know not to trash talk the players remember they're in they're playing they actually want an ffa and you're in the chat with dick in your hand trash talking online someone for playing a video game don't do it it's not all right if you're so good, why aren't you playing in the World Championship Diamond Finals? Huh? Huh? Oh, I'm goldly. Where are you in the Gold World Championship? Huh? That's right. That's right. Mm -hmm. I was playing, can I trash talk? Uh... Mm. Only if you want the diamond or the platinum or and the gold one or the gold one. That's it. Only one of those two. You should turn off webcam beast and nose. Yeah, it is. And there is he's actually deep progressing. The orange is pushing into him now. Which is an interesting kind of twist on this. I wish with the... Uh, yeah, I wonder what the chat was like. Yeah, maybe they were balding at each other. That'd be kind of fun. We got our world champion in Diamond League. It is the Orange Gamer Lancer. Two minutes till the Wonder victory. He killed... Pink immediately, then he beat Red's ass. Although Red kind of beat his ass on, on orange, you know? Then he beat Yellow's ass. And then he beat Blue's ass in the end. A well deserved. And he does it. And, you know, that's a lesson for Yabo right there. If he just. I actually think if he just took the Sacred Sites immediately. I don't think that orange would have won. I don't I don't think he could have won. The the place where he needed to wall was so small that there's not much he could have done about it. But it is what it is. Lancer is the champion. Lancer, when your subject expires, let me know so I can gift you six months. Congratulations, brother. China does not win today, even though he had the most resources except wood. Kills wise, 14 20. Yo, blaze it, Yabo. Just like your Fire Lancers got blazed right there. Mm -hmm. Destroyed the most buildings, but did not get the W in the end. Congratulations, Lancer, once again.
Thank you all for playing. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Some of you had, you know, good spawn. Some of you had a medium spawn. Some of you were dented. Some of you were all right. Uh, you know how it is, but in the end, that's how the potato crumbles. If you're watching this on YouTube, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one. We got another unique special uh, seed for the Conqueror players, which uh, for you guys on Twitch, I don't know when the Conqueror one is happening. I didn't schedule it yet, but we will be doing it before DLC, obviously. And that will be the end of the Season 1 Beastie FFA World Championship Champions Planet Universe Championships with million potato prize pool which again translates into six months worth of sub now to answer the question that all of you got on your mind are we gonna do ffas again i'm gonna do ffas on my sabathon which i mentioned this already the sabathon might be happening earlier than 14th i will let you guys know soon um but we will have a season two of ffa world championship probably in 2024 with the new sieves and all when people are not to play them and so on and so forth if you're watching on youtube thank you so much for watching once again check down on twitch i'm probably live right now if you're watching on twitch let's keep going